Hey everybody, welcome back. This is the second part of files and in this video I'm just going to teach you how to write to a file. So if you know how to read a file, it's actually super easy to write to a file. You do almost the same thing. You have an open statement and you open a file. Now this file currently does not exist. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open it with the W mode. So remember this is the file name. This is your mode. And in this case, it's either going to be an R or an A or a W or something. And we've only talked about R being for read, and now we have W for write. So if I do this, I also need to close my file. And I run it. Okay. And then if I come over here to my files, we see the text from last time and we see output. And if I open this up, it's totally empty. So let's go ahead and put some stuff in it. And if we do file handle.read to read from it, we're going to do file handle.write to write to the file. So I'm going to say hi, and then I'm going to run. And then you come back here, and you see hi. All right, and let's put another line. And we'll say what? Run it. And here we go. So you might be wondering if if write is kind of like a print statement, but for files, why doesn't it put a new line here? Meaning why is hi and what on the same line? Well, unlike print, write actually doesn't have a default new line. So you have to put that in there yourself, like slash n, and then it'll be on its own line. Okay, so just remember that when dealing with files, if you want things to be on different lines, you need to put it in yourself. Okay, so I want to stress this because I see a lot of people make this mistake when they're dealing with data is at least people new to it. They don't save a backup of their information. So let's say you're opening a file and you're dealing with all this data and maybe you're parsing things and, and doing stuff with it, but you don't make a backup of the file. And then one time you're late at night, you're tired and you, you accidentally put write mode in instead of read mode and you open the file and you do this. So right now, my file has these three lines and maybe you delete something and you run it again and you're like, oh, where did all my other information go? Well, you accidentally just deleted that information because every time you open a file, use the open function, it will, if you're using the write mode, it will delete everything in that file and restart writing the file. Okay, so if you do that, you're going to lose all your information. So make sure you save a backup of whatever data you're using. Even if you're using it only for read mode, please just save a backup. So in case you accidentally overwrite something, you still have all that information there. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and do a, a quick little example. Uh, let's open up this text here. We're going to take all this and we're going to copy it into here. Now, with files, you can still open them in the same way. So I can do text.txt. I mean, with writing files, you can still open them in the same way. And this is going to be my in file. And then with open output.txt is going to be, oops, this is going to be my read. <laughs> See, I almost made the mistake I was just talking about. As out file. Okay, so I'm reading this file in, giving it write read mode, so it'll read everything from here, and it's going to write everything out to here. So if I do this right, it will transfer everything from one file to the other. So I'm going to say for line in in file dot read lines. Whoops. And we're going to say out file dot write line. And that should be good. So let's run it. We've got no errors. This is the input file and the output file is identical. So let's say, for example, you wanted to go through and you wanted to, in every line, maybe remove part of the line. You could do that by looping through and you'd put all the removal code right here. Okay, so it goes here. All right, and then you write out that line. So line would equal whatever you want to do to it, something new. Okay. So pretty easy. Um, 
writing to a file is nothing all that special. Uh, in the next file though, uh, our next video rather, I'm going to show you how to do a little more advanced reading and writing by using binary mode as opposed to the text mode. Now binary mode takes a, a little bit more a little bit more background to understand and it's not necessarily a beginner topic so you can take a look at it if you don't understand it that's okay uh, because it, you'll probably need a little bit from fundamentals of programming in order to get what I mean by binary and byte and all those things like that so if you haven't discussed binary byte hexadecimal all those type of different things when it comes to actually what a file is made of on the hardware level then go do that first and then come back to binary mode uh, otherwise you could probably get through it you'll understand kind of what's going on all right uh, see you in the next video and if you have questions leave them in the youtube or on the website comments uh, thanks for watching